On this tutorial, I gotta be talking about the Sense and Galaxy A71 and what I like about this device. And should you go out and pick this device up in 2020? And this is also the 5G model version right here and model uh, right here. This is a Sprint device. Uh, this is with the 5G one. So uh, should you go out and get this device in 2020? Um, and I just want to give you my thoughts and my first reaction. This is really not a review. This is just something that been sitting on my mind for the last couple of days uh, by losing this device. Now, I want to give you my likes and dislikes, what I don't like about a phone, what I do like about a phone. But most likely, I might want to have no dislike about this device. And then I got a pair of the device with other uh, phones that I have lists on this side right here. And I want to also pair it against my note and what I like about the note versus this. So um, you have to understand this price right here for the 5G model is around $649 uh, retail for any for Sprint um, sensor website. You could go right there and pick this device up. Now, this is one of my favorite devices because I also have over here, not just the A71, but I also have the A51 5G model right here. I'm gonna talk about this one in a later video. Uh, I gotta make this separate for this video where we talk, but we gotta talk about this one later on. So I just wanna give you my thoughts in my advice on here, how I really feel about this. So, uh, First thing, I want to give you that this is a really good, super evident OLED display. Build quality is really good. Sided, evident. This is a 6.7 super evident OLED display. That means the black levels on here is evident. This also gives you a 64 megapixel back camera, and you get a 12 super ultra wide. Then you get two five on here. One is for micro lens uh, and one for depth. So then in the front, you get another five, uh, 32 megabit front camera like you did get from the rid of the uh, LG phone, not LG, the rid of the uh, Samsung A70 phone versus the A71. So how I feel about the A71 device? Um, I gotta be straight out real. I feel amazing to pick this up for a uh, for a really good price. Now a friend of mine has sold me this headphone, and he named Stratkeg. Uh, but you can find him on his YouTube channel, and I like I wanted this because I had the width of the one right here. I had the width of the uh, 870 on my device. And I said, you know what? I don't mind getting the uh, phone like this, the 870 with the 5G model. And he did an unboxing of this, so I will leave the link on a, on a my profile, on my page, and you go like follow him from right there. But what I can say about this is the build quality is good. The sound quality is really excellent. Now, you have to remember, this only gave you one fire speaker right here. They don't give you dual speaker like you get on the Sense Galaxy Note or you get on the Stato right here. The Stato device right here. We gotta talk about this one in a different video as well too. But um, I really think that uh, not everybody know about this device. How good the camera quality is good. How good the sound quality is really good. This is get loud. I'm talking about loud. And the bass is there, like, the bass, like, I just sit here and I could go right into my new set collection right here. And I could go right into new set, uh, what's it, new set? Let me go right here, go to Tencent new set. <laughs> and let go into here, let go. 
to artists. No, I don't want to do that. Artists. Let me go to Lee Quay. So I went to Iowa. So this get loud. Look how loud this get. Can I turn this up? Let's get loud. Listen to the bass. That really amazed me to see how loud this device could really get for the price of $649. Then not just that, the camera quality, man. Like, I could show you the camera quality is really good with this device. And I took some pictures with this. And we could do a full picture with this. And I got to do one without the flash. And then I want to also do one with the... Uh, that you could get really super close with this. Uh, let's get real close with this. Let's see, can we get this really focus? And it take a really good mic the shot, really up close. Okay, so like I learned about this feature right here, but you can see every details on this device, like sensor did a really good job, like just showing people that you can take a really good high quality picture by losing this device. And you can see how well the camera quality with this device is. So I, this is not a full uh, review or uh, what it called, it's just a first reaction talk. So uh, I wanna just keep it short and simple. So do me a favor, follow me on my YouTube channel as cool as smart 4k tech and it's right on my channel and put a like if you want to or a dislike if you don't like it but let me know what you think this is not a full review the real the real review will come in a later video for right now did just a first reaction talk about this device and what i think about this device peace or oh, let me do a dumb pinch